What really happened to Robert Colbert star in the Time Tunnel? Robert Colbert was born on July 26, 1931, in Long Beach, California, U.S. His parents' biography, remains unknown and has not been revealed by Robert Colbert. Experiencing the sad and joyous years of his life, Colbert was married to dancer-songwriter Dottie Harmony in 1961 for 15 years. Harmony wrote for Metric Music with Sharon Sheely and had songs recorded by Rick Nelson. They have two children, Cammy and Clay. Cammy is married to filmmaker John Freeman, who produces the highly successful Krusty Demon series of DVDs. Besides, his acting is mentioned as an indispensable thing to him. How meaningful life is when doing the jobs you like, and developing them. Colbert began acting when he was a soldier based on the Japanese island of Okinawa. He was a clerk typist with a military police unit and also worked as a disc jockey for radio station KSBKAM in the evenings. A woman in Air Force Special Services heard his voice and recruited him to act in a performance of the Kane Mutiny Court Martial. Hooked on acting, Colbert returned to the United States and performed on stage, where he was noticed by Mickey Shaughnessy, who recommended him to a talent agency. He gained acting experience with the Portland Repertory Theater. Colbert appeared in a number of minor films, including Have Rocket, Will Travel, and was signed to a contract with Warner Brothers and subsequently cast in the feature film A Fever in the Blood along with many guest appearances on television series. In 1960, he appeared in three episodes of the ABC WB Western, Colt.45, including the episode Showdown at Goldtown. Colbert plays Johnny Moore, a young ex-convict. Colbert also appeared as Bill Mannix in another 1960 Colt.45 episode, Strange Encounter. On October 28, 1960, Colbert was cast as Army Corporal Howie Birch in the episode Two Trails to Santa Fe of the ABC WB Western series Cheyenne. Colbert's first appearance in Maverick was in the fourth season, in Hadley's Hunters, playing a character called Cherokee Dan Evans. Later that same season, in 1961, Colbert was forced by Warner Brothers to dress exactly as lookalike James Garner had in Garner's earlier role of Brett Maverick to play a new series regular called Brent Maverick. Garner had been a huge success in the role and was in the process of moving into a much-anticipated theatrical movie career in the wake of winning a contentious lawsuit with Warner Brothers. Colbert played his part in two episodes and was not called back for the following season since the studio, facing a steep rating decline after the departures of writer-producer Roy Huggins and star Garner. Colbert whose only two episodes as Brent Maverick were The Forbidden City and Benefit of Doubt, had never received enough screen time to see if he could have eventually succeeded in bolstering the ratings. In 1962 Colbert appeared as Miles Kroger on the TV western The Virginian on the episode titled Impasse. That same year, Colbert played Lonzo Green in the episode Footlights of the ABC WB crime drama, The Roaring Twenties. Moreover, he guest starred on most of the ABC WB series, including 77 Sunset Strip and Hawaiian Eye, Bronco, Bourbon Street Beat, Sugarfoot, The Alaskans with Roger Moore, and Surfside Six, and Cheyenne and Lawman, once each. He was cast as Andy Carter, a pioneer who retrieves for sale cast off items from wagon trains, in the 1964 episode, A Bargain is for Keeping on the syndicated television anthology series, Death Valley Days. Throughout the early 1960s, Colbert Guest starred in a variety of popular television series including a trip back to Warner's to appear in a 1964 episode of 77 Sunset Strip. He made an unsuccessful 1964 television pilot for MGM Television playing the title role of the mayor. In 1965, he made two guest appearances on Perry Mason as Deputy District Attorney Snell, first in the case of the Grinning Gorilla, then in the case of the Hasty Honeymooner. That same year, Colbert Guest starred in an episode of Bonanza, The Meredith Smith, 
in which he appeared dressed almost exactly as he had as Brent Maverick only in full color with a bright blue hatband. In the episode, he portrays a man called Ace Jones, who claims to be Meredith Smith, the heir of a large estate. Colbert's agent arranged a meeting with Irwin Allen. In 1966–1967, Colbert played the part of Doug Phillips in 30 episodes of the Irwin Allen science fiction ABC series, The Time Tunnel, the second lead in a show about two time travelers. James Darren and Lee Merriweather starred with Colbert. Historical events like the Alamo, the Titanic, Krakatoa, and Custer's Last Stand were fictionalized. Colbert later starred in a 1970 unsuccessful television pilot for Allen entitled City Beneath the Sea that was shown as a television movie. In 1968, Colbert appeared in the final episode of the first season of Hawaii 5 In 1969, he was a guest star in an episode of Mannix, who is Sylvia Season 3, Episode 19 where he plays an old friend of Mannix, Phil, whose wife is a victim of several murder attempts. He was also a guest star in another episode of Mannix, Duet for Three Season 4, Episode 13 where he plays Vic Stanley, whose friend Mark committed suicide in Hong Kong. He also appeared as the character Stuart Brooks on the television soap opera, The Young and the Restless, from March 1973 to March 1983, being honored at the show's 10th anniversary. Also, in 1973, he made a brief appearance in the Mannix episode, Little Girl Lost Season 7, Episode 4, where he appeared as the victim of a murder. In 1987, he appeared in the film parody Amazon Women on the Moon. The actor most noted for his leading role portraying Dr. Doug Phillips on the ABC television series The Time Tunnel. That is the story about him.